From the Channing 2 mine, northern cape of South Africa, these must have come out around about 2012. We have a pretty solid matrix of uh, olmiite. Now on this particular uh, uh, olmiite, I often found a, was it zonotolite or a, there are, uh, a tiny, tiny white needles. I don't see any on this particular piece. What I enjoy about this piece on the cross section, you can see the, the patterning of the olmiite, sort of a beige core going into yellow makes me think of, of uh, Etringite actually but then this section this particular section very very bright and lustrous uh, little calcite crystals dusting it here and there color wise we're looking at a beige to a, almost a yellowish beige these do fluoresce under shortwave UV light fluorescence would be a almost a radocrosite red going a radocrosite red going into a, a pink uh, all the way, of course, from the Northern Cape in South Africa, the Kalahari manganese mines, where the guys are mining for uh, uh, manganese and various iron ores, um, about 100 kilos north of Kuruman as we're going uh, Namibia side. So technically speaking, Orange River, <laughs> well, yeah, it is, uh, this, this is an area of its own, but it's pretty much in the same uh, region, Northern Cape, as, as we, uh, our so-called Orange River deposits of the lovely quartzes. Now, also quite interesting about the Olmiat, we have almost a minaret formation individually, and then they compact together to make almost botwood. Very, very bright, vibrant, lustrous piece, and under shortwave UV, quite magnificent, all the way from the Channing 2 mine, northern Cape of South Africa.